Oh, I didn't know there was going to be a light. That's kind of cool. So, uh, I tried to use one of these screw tap things to put screw threads into these holes. You're supposed to put that over that and press down as you turn it. It's actually kind of difficult, I feel like, to do without breaking these taps, especially if it's these tiny little 440 screw type things. Um, I found it was so much easier. Somebody on YouTube said it, um, but it was in the middle of a big video, so I thought I'd just make a big, a little quick video on how to use one of these drill presses for doing screw taps. You just take the thing and put it in here. Actually, first, I guess I should mention that uh, there's some aluminum from when I drilled the holes. There's uh, I just took the belt from the drive actually off of the thing, just so this column will just sp you know spin without any resistance from the motor or anything. And uh, basically, all you want to do is get that chuck in there. That looks like a good height. Just lock it in. Not good at that. Then, uh, I'll just use a little bit of this molly coat crap I use for everything to just lubricate it a little bit. I feel like getting it back out's easier with a little something on there. And then I'll just move this. Kind of check it out, just make sure it's like right in the hole and it's not like pushing the bit over at all. So once you figure out it's going right in there, you just put pressure on down. Like, you know, you're not going to hurt it if you put a little bit of pressure. So just give it a good, you know, not too much, but a little bit of pressure and just turn the thing. And you'll feel that the handle just slowly turns down as you spin it. And I just feel like this is so much easier and you feel... With this hand, you can feel if it's starting to tighten up or lock up, like, and it doesn't lock up nearly as much. Now I'll just kind of turn it back slightly and switch hands, but still keep that same amount of pressure on it, on the handle, and then just loosen that. And that'll come right up. And then it's just a matter of getting that out of there. Oh. Figured that was gonna happen. I just put that thing on there. Now usually I try to turn it a little bit back to hopefully get it to come out, but it never really comes out too easy. So what I typically do is just take a little vice grip, put it on here. Spin it with that. Let me get my tools in the way here. Alright, now I think it's free, so I'm going to release the vice grips. I think this manual tool has been good for me with is just getting it out at the end. But this, I think this tab is starting to go. I've used it for like a lot of these screws already. And it just doesn't seem to work quite as nicely as it used to, but it's still working. Especially on the coming out part. But yeah, then that should be good. Just like that. Boom. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like without this drill press, I could not do this. So I figured I'd share that.